Okay, in this video we're going to look at uh, graphing coordinate points and quadrants. And so, um, the first thing I want to do is remind you that there's such a thing as a number line, and when you see a number line, it's just a line that goes horizontally across, and you've got 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, all the way to in positive infinity. And then the other direction, you have the negative numbers, right? The negative numbers, all the way to negative infinity. Now, this number line is something we're familiar with. Uh, what, when we have a two-dimensional uh, coordinate graph, we're basically looking at two number lines. Okay, two number lines. So we could call this number line the one we're familiar with, the x-axis. Okay, and that's just a made-up label that people have made up for it. Um, so, so basically, this horizontal number line is the one you're familiar with. We'll call that the x-axis. Okay. And it, it zero is here, and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And then the opposite direction, you have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, and so on. Right? And just be careful because these numbers occur exactly on these these points here, where the where the vertical lines are. Okay. Right. So what we're doing here with a coordinate graph is we're taking one number line, then we're taking another number line. Okay, and we're, and we're, and we're going to use both. So the other number line is called the y-axis. Again, that's just a label that uh, people have made up for it. And the y-axis has zero here. Okay, and then as you go up, the numbers are positive. So it goes zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. And as you go down, the numbers are negative: negative one, negative two negative 3, negative 4, and so on, okay? Right. So, when we have a coordinate point like 3, 4, what you've got to remember is uh, the alphabet. The alphabet goes X, Y, Z, okay? It doesn't it? X, Y, Z. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then X, Y, Z comes at the end. So, every point, what I'd like you to do is uh, above or underneath it, write X, Y, okay? Just like the alphabet, X, Y. So, the so 3 is the x value and 4 is the y value. Okay. So if 3 is the x value, what we do is we go over to 3 on the x-axis. Can you show me where 3 is on the x-axis? Where is 3? Where is it? It's This is negative 3, that's negative 2. 3 is here, isn't it? So that's 3 on the x-axis. Okay, right there. Oops. Okay. Now so three and and three corresponds to kind of this line that goes up and down here. That's the that's the line where x is three. Okay. So that's that line there. Now when y is four, we also need y is four. See x is three, y is four. So if you go up and down the y-axis, can you find where y is four on the y-axis? X is three, and y is four. So this is y is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is y is 4, isn't it? So if you go along this line, this line is where the y value is 4. Okay. So if you take this line where y is 4, okay, and if you take this first line where x is 3, okay, they intersect at a point, don't they? Okay. And that point is where? Where's the point? Where do they intersect? That point is here exactly there where the two lines intersect exactly and that is the point three four that's your a okay the, your point a point this is three four here okay three comma four right now we'll do uh, point B again tell me your alphabet a b c d e f g and then at the end it goes x y z x y okay so i just want you to write this down x and then y it doesn't take long it's not shakespeare it doesn't take long to write x y see that now which is the x number which is the y number x is what value and y is what value x is x is negative 2 and y is positive 5 okay so we're going to start with x. Just one step at a time, one step at a time. Tell me where is x negative 2 on the x-axis? This is the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. So on the x-axis, where is x negative 2? Show me. This is x is positive 2, x is 0, x is negative 2. That's here, isn't it? And if you, if you go up and down this line, the x value is always negative 2, up and down this line here. See that? x is negative 2. 
y5, y5, y is 5, isn't it? Where is 5 on the y-axis? Show me 5 on the y-axis. This is negative 3, this is 2, where is 5? Five? 5 would be right here, wouldn't it? X, y is 5, okay? And everywhere along this line is where the y value is 5. See that? Everywhere along this line the y value is 5. Now where x is negative 2 and y is 5, they kind of intersect, don't they? Because x is negative 2 and y is 5, and they intersect right there. Okay? So this point where the two lines intersect, this point is exactly negative 2, 5. Now I want you to find points C and D by yourself. You can press pause on the video if you like. Press pause on the video and then I'll do it. Okay, I'm going to do it now. So point number C, I hope you found it. I'm going to show you now. It's x, y. The x value is negative 6, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. That's over here. The y value is 3, sorry, negative 3, that's down here, and negative th y is negative 3, and x is negative 6, they intersect right here, where the, exactly where the two lines uh, connect, and that is negative 6, negative 3, that's the point C, okay? Now point D, press pause and do D if you haven't done it yet. Press pause on the video, the pause button is in the bottom left of the screen. Okay, I'll do it now. I know my alphabet, it goes X, Y, Z, so I'm just going to write X here and Y here. That means the X value is 5, the Y value is negative 2. And X is 5, and Y is negative 2. X is 5, Y is negative 2. And that is exactly here, at this point, where X is 5 and Y is negative 2. Okay? Now, that's where the... <coughs> the points are, and now we're going to state which quadrant each point is in. This is called quadrant number one, this is called quadrant number two, this is called quadrant number three, and this is called quadrant number four. Okay? Quadrant. Q U A D R A N T. Okay? So quadrant one, two, three, four. So this point is in quadrant 1, that's in quadrant 2, that's in quadrant 3, and that's in quadrant 4. Uh, the quadrants aren't used a whole lot, but, but plotting the points is used all the time. So that was the most important thing. 